What's up guys? It's already that time of the year, it's back to school. I know you're probably stressing out about what to make for lunch for your kids, but I got you with this amazing spicy tuna bowl. Let's make it. To make this recipe, here is what you'll need. Cucumbers, corn, white rice, red hot chili peppers, not the band though. Green onions, yellow onion, soy sauce and sesame oil, sushi grade tuna, preferably bluefin tuna. I'm using lemon vinegar today because I'm sadly out of rice vinegar. First step, we're gonna cut the tuna into some medium sized cubes. And guys, remember, every time you're working with raw fish or raw meat or raw seafood, keep everything on ice while you're doing the rest because the last thing you want is for your kid to skip class because it shot himself. So make sure you keep everything on ice, guys, okay? Second step, we're gonna cook the rice. Use a rice cooker. Just make your life easier, order one. Spend some time with your kids instead of worrying about your rice on the stove. Rice cooker, Amazon, get it. Just put it in there. You press start and you move on. Okay, the rice is good to go. Woo! Add some vinegar. Like I said before, I am out of rice vinegar, so we're gonna use this lemon vinegar and hope for the best. And we're also gonna fluff up our rice. Also, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use sushi rice, but I was also out of that, so we're using jasmine rice. In the end, what matters is to use what you have on hand and improvise, you know? Also, your kid's not even gonna notice, so okay, right? Next step, we're gonna slice a cucumber. Next, we're gonna slice a yellow onion and julienne. Now, depending on your children's tolerance to heat, you can add some chilies or not. One should be more than enough. You can always discard some of the seeds to take some heat off, which I'll do right now because there's a lot of seeds. I don't want to die. Next up, soy sauce. I'm going to eyeball this because you know. Next, some toasted sesame oil. Not too much. That's strong stuff, guys. Some salt and pepper. Now we're going to mix it up. Now at this point, we're going to do a little taste test to make sure everything is to our liking. Mmm. Oh, 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 spicy. Oh yeah. It's a little spicy, not gonna lie. So, a little Canadian touch for you guys. Maple syrup, you already know. Just a, just a dash. Voila. Now we're gonna let this marinate for a couple of minutes. Get everything to know each other. The onion, to you know, give its flavor. The chilies, the tuna, the soy sauce, sesame oil, all that good stuff. Next up, corn. Once again, not the band. It's not very traditional to a bowl, but you know what? It's corn season, I love corn, so why the fuck not? Before we put our corn in, add some salt, season your water, and now corn can go in. Et voila. You can cook the corn for about five minutes or until the nibbles are nice and tender. Okay, corn's good to go, we're gonna shock it in ice water. Stop the cooking process before we cut it. The corn is now cooled down, we can cut it off the cob. Next step, I'm gonna thinly slice some green onions. It's already time to assemble our tuna bowl. Guess what, I'm using a deli container like they do it in Hawaii. Let's do it. We're gonna put the rice at the bottom of this container. Oh my God, look at this. How beautiful is this, guys, you know? Now for the corn, I'm gonna place it all in the same corner here. Keep those big chunks intact. Next up, cucumber. And obviously some green onions here. I still wanna see a bit of a line of tuna, so I'm gonna keep this on the side like this. Enough talking now. It's my favorite part of every single video. It's tasting time! Let's dig in, shall we? Fuck this. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. On that note, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and let me know in the comments what was your worst nightmare to find in your lunchbox. Please consider subscribing to our channel. We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers and let's get there together guys, as a family, as one, to share this passion for 
cooking, for love, and good things. Let's go now. Bye-bye.